Hi, I'm Andrew at Baker's Gas, and we're here today to do a comparison video between two battery-operated welding systems. So in front of me I have the Elevate from Lincoln, and I have the Fronius Accupocket from Fronius. So uh, in this video we're just going to compare the two, the size, the capability, what they can, both can do and what they come with, um, and then we'll let you guys be the designer on what you guys like. So just to show you off right now, physical size, right? Lincoln Elevated is much bigger than the Fronius AccuPocket. It is heavier by nine pounds as well uh, than the Elevate is. So this is 33, this is 24. Uh, notable weight difference, but not horrible. Both come with a strap, pretty cool. So I'll flip them around here so you can see the front interfaces on them. So very, very different. If you can see on both of these, um, and I'll turn this one here. We'll just turn it back on. We'll lift that back on. So I got this one on here. Uh, the Fronius AccuPocket stick 6010 or cellulose rod TIG output. This model right here is just your basic stick unit. It just comes with stick stuff. No, no TIG accessories. Um, but we can run on the Fronius AccuPocket. You can run up to 18 stick electrodes, 7018, and that's 332nd stick electrodes. The Elevate can run 21 332nd, 7018. So a little bit more I'll put on this one. Um, TIG function wise, we can run 21 minutes on the Elevate at 100 amps, and we can run about eight, 17, 18 minutes on the Fronius Aggie Pocket at 100 amps. So pretty close to the same, right? Um, both of them have an internal battery source. The AccuPocket, though, has an external charging port, so you have to have the charger that goes to the Fronius AccuPocket. Whereas Lincoln, and I'll show you on the back here, both of them, they have just a one cable, 110, plugs into the wall, and the charging system is inside of there. This one has a special connection that goes to the charging box, that goes to a 110 cord. Uh, both of these units, though, when they are dying or dead and you got them plugged in, you can weld off of them while they're charging. So that's, that's similar in that thing. Um, just on the interface on the, the link in here, we got our 7018, our 6010, and our lift, our TIG, and you just toggle down to change those. Same thing with this, you just toggle it down and it changes them. Pretty easy. This AccuPocket has the ability to change our arc force and our dig function. This does not. Um, so a little bit more fine-tuning with the Fronius AccuPocket and not so much with the Lincoln Elevate, but does it really matter? This one has already come with a preset, so when you change from 7018 to 6010, they have a preset function in there for uh, your arc force and dig function. So it, it's, it's already preset. This one you can adjust. Minor differences. Um, this one's been on the market for quite some time, the Fronius AccuPocket has, and we've sold a lot of them. This Elevate just came out, um, been pretty popular so far. I uh, haven't heard anything bad come back. The Fronius, nothing really bad comes back about that either, um, other than just basic uh, maintenance on the unit. So if people drop them or they do some nasty things to them and then they break. So that's, that's operator error though, right? Internally, they're fine. Um, charging time on this is an hour on the Elevate. This one has a fast charge of a half hour. A little bit better charging time, but you gotta actually hit the button to, to, to put on fast charge, and then if you don't, it's 45 minutes to an hour to fully charge it. So right there at the same ballpark. But just physically looking at them, I mean, this one obviously is much smaller than this. This is more of an actual size welding machine, right? This is more of a kind of, you just carry it up the ladder and go. But uh, very interesting on their comparisons on how they each perform too. I've welded a lot with both of them. Um, and I think the arc is fairly similar. They're both a lithium phosphate battery and both put out great arcs. Can't really complain about either one of them. This one comes with a hard carrying case. This one it does not. So, but right now Bakers has a bundle that we're going to give you a hard carrying case with this. And we'll link the price down below, but this one's much cheaper, about $500 cheaper than this one. So, I guess it's all right in that same ballpark. Um, like I said, this one's been out for a while. Both have three-year warranty on them. And really 
haven't heard much feedback on this one coming back from people. I'm sure we will because it just came out. But this one we've heard a lot of great things and sold a lot of them. So if you've got any questions, comments, leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Um, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for some more. Thank you.